Hi, this is Marlon and I'm here showing you a tutorial on the Allen Heath Q24 board. I love this board and this board was purchased for the church and the school. So this video will help us um, be familiar with the physical setup of this board. This is a digital board which allows us a number of great benefits. The first one is a smaller footprint. This is a 30 channel board. Don't let it fool you even though it says channel 24 here. It is a 30 channel board because we have three stereo channels that we can use. Uh, we had a 32 channel board and it was so wide it, it took up more space. The beauty of the board also is that it has a built-in gate. It has a built-in compressor for every channel. It also has four effects units that are individually controlled. Uh, so that means that we are like basically adding a 16 space rack full of again compressors and effects and so much wonderful things and we're compacting it in this wonderful board so let's go over the layout of this board you'll notice that we have 24 faders a master fader and we'll go through these buttons a little bit later so you're familiar with this if you have worked on an analog board but one thing you're noticing is that each channel on an analog board has a channel strip of gain eq low cut uh, and auxiliaries and so what a digital board does instead of having each channel have its own row we have placed it in one section right here and in order to access each channel's uh, settings we have to use a select button so get used to looking at this button because that tells you dynamically which channel that you're working with that's very important because if you're not looking at that and you're making adjustments thinking you're making it to channel one, but in reality, uh, channel five has been selected, you're like, oh, I'm making these changes, I don't hear it. It's probably because you have not selected it. So let's take you to the touch screen area. This is a wonderful thing, it is a touch screen. And the touch screen is basically a visual representation of what's happening here. So basically, whatever you do here with physical knobs, is seen visually over here, and it actually can be fully run from the touch screen or the knobs, and we'll go over that. So let's go over our channel uh, strip selection here. I'm gonna make sure I have channel one selected, and if we look at our, our screen up here, you will see represented channel one. Now I'm simply gonna just press different channels, and you should see that number changing. It's now number nine, number 10, and you'll see different setups already set up for this board. I'm gonna go back to channel one. Let's go over the knob section. And as I make adjustments, I want you to look at what's happening over here. So on every channel, we have a preamp or the gain section. If you're familiar with other boards, it might be called trim. Uh, but the gain, basically, again, you're setting how much sensitivity you want on that input. Maybe you have a, a really weak mic that's, that's a dynamic mic. You need to boost that gain up to maybe 50 or so. Maybe you're working with a condenser mic. So you will change that right here and you'll notice over here that the gain, you'll see that number changing. The second one that you should be familiar with is the a low cut uh, or high pass filter. And uh, you need to make sure that this button is lit in order to see and to hear the effect. So if you look at our EQ, uh, let me just turn off some of these things here. I'll make it nice and flat, there it goes. Uh, you'll see that low cut and you see that little bar moving lower. And if I press the EQ, you can actually see specifically what frequencies, for example, I'm gonna say, uh, I want a low cut about 120 hertz. That's very typical for a low pass, a uh, low cut filter, 120. So let's go over to our parametric EQ. Basically, it's a four band EQ, uh, which is wonderful. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we are touching the uh, parametric EQ because you can get a visual and accurate representation of what's happening here. I'm gonna work from the bottom up again, making sure a button is pressed, otherwise that EQ will not be affected or heard. It's selected, it's on, and uh, I'm gonna do some gain on a low frequency, so I'm gonna maybe boost something up here. And you'll notice I have boosted about uh, 5.9, maybe yeah, let's do a six, 5.9 dB, uh, and the frequency, I'm gonna boost it maybe at, uh, let's say some rumble in this, in this church, at maybe about 60 hertz. And then you have your Q or your width, which means you can make it a very narrow band or it can have more wider effect, which is uh, 
uh, your octaves and other uh, wide. So that's that. And again, you have that duplicated for low mid. You can change that frequency. You can send it way to the top if you wish. And there goes your width. You can cut some uh, high mid frequencies, move it around. And this becomes a wonderful way to just make some adjustments uh, really quickly to your mix. Again, if you want that EQ to be turned off, you simply press that button and you'll notice in our display that things have been grayed out. So, so far we've gone over our trim, our gain, our low cut, our parametric EQ. Let's go to the next section, which is called our gate and our compressor. If you look at our touch screen, I've now selected the gate tab. And the gate tab, again, if in order to be turned on, it has to be pressed in. And this knob right here just gives you your basic threshold. Uh, if you want to get more in depth of this, you'll have to go over the touch screen, but I find this a knob so quick and handy. Let's go to our compressor section. Again, our compressor is in. This button only controls the threshold that the settings are there. We also have our pan button, and the pan button does not have a display over here. It has an LED display. If I pan right, you'll notice that the lights are panned right and left, and good old center. So that is our channel strip area. Let's see how we can make those same adjustments only using the touch screen. So what we're gonna have to do is look at the touch screen, select which tab we wanna work with, and then we're gonna use this wonderful button and touch the thing. So uh, let's do some of the uh, stuff that we were doing over there with the buttons. Let's do it over here, let's change our gain. So I press the gain button there, and then I change this uh, knob right here, and you can actually see the changes right there. Uh, it's only with the touch screen that we can add a phantom power. So in order to do that, 48 volts, we press and hold it for a little while, and then it changes colors, and you now have phantom power. Maybe you have a condenser mic or something at the front that needs that kind of power. We're going to press and hold it to turn off. Uh, we have a pad if we need to pad it a little bit. Uh, so that's, and then it also has some delays, which we're not gonna get into. It's a little bit more uh, fancy, uh, high-end kind of things we may not need in our situation. Let's go to the next section, which is our gate. Here we can set the threshold as we did with this button, but now if we press the threshold, we can adjust it, then we can adjust depth, depth, attack, hold, release, and turn it off and on. One thing I love about this board, if it says in over here, the in button is on. If I turn it off, it goes off as well. Again, you can use a combination of those. Let's go to the EQ button. I'm gonna turn off and on our uh, high pass filter. And if I wanna change that frequency, I press it. And let's say I only wanna cut, uh, let's go crazy with it. Let's go uh, 200 Hertz around there. I wanna cut everything that's 200 Hertz. Uh, let's go in our EQ. Let's say, let's do another cut at a, uh, around 80 Hertz here. And we're gonna make that really narrow. We just want to cut that frequency. Again, you can see that uh, going through the other bands here and again, turning off and on your EQ. Let's go to the compressor section. Now let's go to our threshold. We can adjust it. You'll see the dynamic uh, visual re uh, representation over there. We can change our ratio for vocalists. We're going to probably set them around a three to one, maybe four. Uh, there it goes. Your makeup gain after you compress. You have a hard knee, soft knee and auto, different ways you can adjust those things. And again, turning it off and on. A wonderful, wonderful uh, situation here. So that is a basic overview of our mixing board. We've gone over each fader. Uh, we know how to select it. We'll see it dynamically change up here. We can change our channel strip using the button area. We can use also the touch screen area. So in the next video, we'll show you how to set up, setting some gain, on some typical setups and uh, using some more advanced features.